everybody this is another note from the field at the wildlife disease association meeting today we've got a couple of our cwhc grad students here and uh, diana tell us a little about yourself and what you're doing for your research um so my name's diana and i'm a grad student at the university of guelph and my advisors are claire jardin and craig stephen and i'm doing a project on defining wildlife health and what it is and sort of what we do in Ontario for wildlife health and how we could change that and improve things. And so here at the conference, I think one of the most interesting things is that health is definitely defined for the most part as the absence of disease and there doesn't seem to be a lot of talks on actually health and what it is, except for health as the absence of disease. I think that's been the most interesting thing for me. Okay. And Maria? Well, I'm Maria Fernanda Mejia Salazar, and I'm working with chronic wasting disease in New Aldeir uh, with Trent Bollinger and Cheryl Walner as my co-supervisors. And um, I came here to present a poster about how deer visit different environmental um, sites as a proxy for prion uh, deposition, which is quite interesting for model building that has not been able to include this environmental component. Uh, I have found that the conference is super exciting and it has lots of very interesting things. Uh, and I was uh, truly expecting more about prion diseases, uh, specifically chronic wasting disease, because this is an area so close to Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, I believe that chronic wasting disease is probably uh, being forgotten and I will hope uh, to increase the knowledge of these important disease in cervids. So after spending the first few days at the conference, do you have any thoughts about what some interesting or important areas for future research might be in wildlife health that you might want to see at the next meeting? Well, I think I would want to see more research on promoting health and kind of the factors that are involved in doing that. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see more about this idea of, you know, finding agents in, in different species, but not considering them as pathogenic. It's just uh, not all of them are pathogenic and it would be interesting to have that idea clear. Great. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you. Thank you.